finish at the next round. FISA and other similar related counterterrorism programs have been described even this morning as vital, credible, and indispensable to our national security. And many of us on both sides of the aisle believe FISA and similar counterterrorism programs prevent terrorist attacks and save American lives. But FISA and other surveillance programs are intentionally designed to preserve the privacy of U.S. citizens. They are intentionally designed to ensure the information is collected and used only for legitimate national security and criminal investigative purposes. There are statutory safeguards. There are warrants based on probable cause. There is a FISA court that is involved. There are audits on the back end, and we think so highly of this material. It is a felony punishable by up to 10 years in federal prison to unlawfully disseminate it. All of this was done to make sure this information gathered remains protected as it relates to U.S. citizens. The way I view it, Director Comey, the American people have an agreement with their government. We are going to give you the tools to keep us safe, even if it infringes on our privacy some. We're going to give you the tools, and government in return promises to safeguard the privacy of U.S. citizens. And when that deal is broken, it jeopardizes American trust in these surveillance programs. So let me ask you, do you agree FISA is critical to our national security? I do. Do you agree programs like FISA were intentionally designed to safeguard the identity of U.S. persons? Yes. There are other important elements of it, but that's the primary goal, I believe. It wasn't an afterthought. It wasn't an accident. These are intentional safeguards that we put in place to protect U.S. citizens. Is that correct? Correct. Do you agree much of what is learned from these programs is classified or otherwise legally protected? All FISA applications reviewed by the court, collection by us pursuant to our FISA authority is classified. The dissemination of which is a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison? For dissemination, unauthorized dissemination. Unauthorized dissemination of classified or otherwise legally protected material punishable by a felony up to 10 years in federal prison. Yes, as it should be. All right. In January of this year. See, this is Maryland recognizing all four common law privacy laws. Hold on. Um, disclosure, one's personal life, one's name or likeness, um, intercepting or procuring wire or electronic communication individually or through another person. The law prohibits disclosing or using the communication that was obtained illegally. And down here, $10,000 fine. It's unlawful to intercept without the person's permission. I never gave consent. Never. I never give consent. I don't even give consent for the flu shot. And this is the gang stalking. Oh, man, what is this? This is the gang stalking. Two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state.
Well, that's pretty much what gang stalking is. And when your whole block does it, or at least seems like they do it, well, then that means it seems like they took part in it. See, I should be asleep right now. But I'm not. So I wonder if somebody, you know, putting you on a list that you shouldn't be on. Maybe because they didn't know that you had already done background checks for jobs and everything else. You know, maybe they didn't know. Maybe they didn't, you know, understand what buildings you've worked in and things. Um... But I bet it's a crime there also. And I didn't want nobody in trouble at the beginning of this. I just wanted to be left alone, peace and quiet, so I can get on with my, you know, little bit of life that I had, you know, the, the, little, the little stuff I had going on. But every day it seems to grow a little more. And it's just old. Yeah, I've worked in the U.S. Marshals Building, the Treasury Department in D.C., military bases. I used to be a chaperone for the elementary school kids. But yet, on my new ID, I seem to be the only one that has a star. And I've seen numerous new IDs already. But yet, I'm the only one that's got a star. And when you look it up, it says it helps fight terrorism. But I'm not a terrorist. I don't even leave my house that much. Ignorant, vindictive people. God's going to send them all to hell and not even give a second thought. And it's a shame, because from what I hear, heaven is beautiful. Look at all the people that have near-death experiences. It's a shame. I'm tired of being sick. What seems to be poison, my toes are finally healing. They're only healing because I ain't slept on my bed or near my bed. Because of all the juice running through the lines, it's making the coils in the bed into, uh... Something... It ain't supposed to be. <laughs> but, I, I mean, you can't even call what I'm sleeping on a bed, so this is old. Tired of it. All this is, is people that are 
just basically, you know, I don't even know how to explain it right now. It's too late. I gotta get up in three hours. But yeah, all those have have been violated, and then some. God bless. Have a good night.